Hello, everybody. Today, we're going to cover lesson 2.10. Uh, it's considered an algebra lesson, and we're going to be talking about number patterns. And the essential question you should be able to answer by the end of the lesson is, how does place value help you identify and extend counting patterns? So I'm going to read you a problem, and I want you to shade the numbers in the counting pattern. All right, so here's the problem. At Blossom Bakery, 823 muffins were sold in the morning. In the afternoon, four packages of 10 muffins were sold. How many muffins were sold that day? All right, so let's. So we're going to start at 823, right? Well, we know that from 801 to 810, that is a sum of 10. So every row has a sum of 10. Well, if I go from 823 and just add 10 to it, the ones place isn't going to change, right? The hundreds place won't change. We're just adding 110 to every 10 as we go. So our first package of 10 would put us at 833. What would our next 10 be? Well, our next 10 would be 843. Our third 10, 853. Our fourth 10, 863. So you should have come up with 863. If they started the morning, if they had sold 823 muffins in the morning and then sold four packages of 10 in the afternoon. So they would have sold 863 muffins that day. All right, let's look at page 94. So look at the digits in the pattern, I mean in the numbers. What two numbers are next in the counting pattern? All right, so we know that we have 100, 110 and 4 once. So we have 114. This one we have two hundreds and 110 and 4 once. So we have 214. So the only thing that changed from this number to this number is we added 100. Here we have three hundreds, 110 and 4 once. So again, the 10 and the 1 didn't change. We still have 14. All we did was add another 100. We added another 100 in this picture. Now we have 400. So what do you think would have to come next? Well, if we were drawing it, now we would have 500, right? Because we're adding one 500. So we'd have 514. And then our last one, we would have 614. The hundreds digit changes by one each time. So the next two numbers are 514 and 614. All right, so look at the digits to find the next two numbers. What is changing? So 100, 100, 100, 100. Seven ones, seven ones, seven ones, seven ones. The only thing that's changing is the tens. 30, 40, 50, 60. So the next two numbers have to be, just add 10 to 167. So add 110 to 6, we'd have 7 tens. Add 110 to 7 tens, we'd have 8 tens, or 80. Okay? 245, 345, 445, 545. The only digit that's changing is the hundreds, and it's increasing by one each time. So 500 plus 100, 645. What I meant by 500 plus 100 is the hundreds is only in that digit changing. So the four tens and the five ones aren't changing. So 500 plus an additional 100 is 600 plus the 45, 645. And the next one would be 745. OK. 
okay? Number three, 421, 431, 441, 451. What is changing? Well, I see 400 in every number. I see two tens, three tens, four tens, five tens. So the tens are increasing by one. And I see one in the ones digit for each of the numbers. So the only number that we're changing is the tens. Two tens plus one ten is three tens. Three tens plus one ten is four tens. Four tens plus one ten is five tens. So the next number is 461. Then 471. And finally on this page, number four, 389, 489, 589, 689. So the un only number that's changing is the hundreds. So we're adding 100 each time. So the next number in the pattern would be 789 and then 889. Right, let's look at page 95. Look at the digits to find the next two numbers. 193, 293, 393, 493. The only digits that's changing is the hundreds. And we're going to increase them by one. So what, num what number would come after 493? 593. 593, if we're increasing by 100, would be 693. 484, 494, 504, 514. Now, you might get a little confused on this one. 100, 100, 400, 400, 500, 500. Hmm. Four ones, four ones, four ones, four ones. Is it changing by hundreds and tens or just by tens? Well, let's see. What's 84 plus 10? Well, that's just adding 10, right? What if I did 494 plus 10? Well, 9 tens plus 1 10 is 10 tens, right? And 10 tens is 100. So we would now go from 400 to 500. So we're not adding hundreds. We're not increasing by 100. We're increasing by 10 each time, right? Zero tens, one ten. So what comes next if we have 504, 514, and we're increasing one ten? One ten plus one ten is two tens. So 524. 524 plus 10, 534. 500, 600, 700, 800. Hmm. 900, right? We're just adding 100. Now, what happens though when I go 900 plus 100 more? That would be 10 hundreds. Well, 10 hundreds has to be written as 1,000. Okay. 655, 665, 675, 685. We are increasing by 110 in each number. So we're going to go to 695. Now, what happens when you add nine tens and one more 10? We would have 10 tens. 10 tens is a hundred. So change the 600 to 700. We'd have 705. All right, number nine. Mark read 203 pages. Laney read 100 more pages than Mark, and Gavin read 10 fewer pages than Laney. How many pages did Gavin read? All right, well, let's start with what we do know. We know that Mark read 203 pages. We know that Laney read 100 more pages. So if we just add 100 to 200, we have 200 plus 100 is 300, so 303. And now Gavin read 10 fewer pages than Laney. Well, remember that 10 tens is 100, right? So if we take one of the tens away from Laney, 
she would have, Gavin would have nine tenths. So his would be 293. Right? 303, 293, 283, 273, so on. So Gavin read 293 pages. All right, let's look at page 296. Uh, not 296, 96. Number 10, solve. There are 135 buttons in a jar. After Robin put more buttons into the jar, there were 175 buttons in the jar. How many groups of 10? Did she put into the jar? All right, so let's see. We're starting at 135, and we're ending at 175. How many groups of 10 did she put in the jar? Well, let's just do that. So this is our starting point, and we're adding four groups of 10. So 145, 1, 55, 165. So this was our starting point. We've added one set of 10, two sets of 10, three sets of 10, and we need another group of 10, so 175. So how many groups of 10 did it take for us to get to 175? One, two, three, four. She added four groups of 10 buttons. How did I solve the problem? I used a number pattern. The tens increase by one each time. Took me four additional tens. to get to 175. So all we did was use a number pattern. We know that tens is going to increase by one. So we went from three tens to four tens, four tens to five tens, five tens to six tens, six tens to seven tens. And then we counted how many times, how many groups of 10 we have, four. All right, write the next number in each counting pattern. 162, 262, 362, 462. The only difference I see is that the hundreds is changing by one each time. So 462, 562. 347, 357, 367, 377. The only change I see is that the tens is increasing by 110. So 377, which is seven tens, seven tens plus one more would be eight tens. So eight, 387. 609, 619, 629, 639. The only digit that's changing is the tens, and it's increasing by 110 each time. So the next number has to be 649. Okay, so that's it for this lesson on using number patterns. So until our next lesson, I will see you soon.